speaking during the stakeholder engagement session at Enana, Shivuti says Nambra has noted with concern some individuals and several businesses failing and refusing to comply to the tax laws and regulations. Such practice, he says, is illegal as per the Customs and Excise Act. The engagement meeting aims to engage and educate the business community and public at large on tax, customs and excise related matters. We are also able to share with the audience the importance of being compliant with tax laws because all the revenue that we collect, it does not go to NAMRA uh, account, but it goes straight to the state account which is held, held at Bank of Namibia. And therefore, the importance of paying taxes, it is the only way that we as Namibian people and those who are doing business in Namibia will be in a position to capacitate the state to be able to provide the social services required and all the services that the Namibian people require from the state. Some of the burning issue that came through is that there are a number of people who are not complying with tax law. There are also businesses, foreign businesses, who are not issuing either tax invoices or not banking their money. But our position from NAMRA is to say, and we publicly here gave the directive to all our regional managers that our mandate is to ensure and to enforce tax laws, and therefore we need to enforce tax law to everyone, irrespective of individuals, because we do not only focus on specific grouping. We are saying all those who are sourcing or getting their income in Namibia, and they are not complying with the tax law. Our officials have been publicly given a directive to ensure that tax law is complied with by everyone in Namibia. But we also shared with the audience that we have developed a compliance and enforcement strategy, which will then ensure that those who are not complying with the tax and custom and excise law, they must get their house in order because this is going to be something of the past. Ohangwena Governor Vals and Devashea commended NAMRA for an open platform that brought stakeholders together in order to hear their concerns and educate them on the tax laws and regulations. He emphasizes the importance of the engagements, saying when all stakeholders have an understanding of the agency's mandate and operations, it will enhance the compliances by taxpayers. The Chinese business if you go to Chicago, I don't know how you detect the income they make. You go in their shops, you want people to buy building materials, which are costing thousands of dollars, but they want you to pay cash. But now, these days, in this age and era, People are no longer paying cash. What do you call that system? By just swiping. Yeah? Why they do not comply with that? It's a good requirement. And they don't even give you the receipt. You are not issued a proper receipt. How do you make sure that they are complying? My plea and the request to NAMRA is therefore to tailor their efforts to improve clarity of obligations, reduce uncertainty. Make it easier for the taxpayers, but hard for those who violate the laws. The majority of those who were in attendance are mostly local business people, and this is what some of them had to say. We have learned more information on how to be committed to pay the tax and how to update our business, and the importance of bookkeepers and not to rob the government. I am therefore urging fellow business persons to consult NAMRA's office to familiarize themselves with the tax laws. During the engagement, NAMRA donated 260 shovels to the office of Ohangwena region, which Commissioner Sam Shibuti says are part of equipment and goods forfeited to the state as a result of non-compliance by citizens as per the Customs and Excise Act of 1998. If you are to import specific products, what are the duties that are involved? Because there are some goods whereby it's not allowed to be, to, to, to be imported here. There is what
product is called dumping duty. For example, if you are importing this type of goods from, from China, for example, the dumping duty could be 98% of that product. Now, if you are not able to pay that 98%, the law then says it has to be 